Hi there, welcome back. Today we will create a text tracker effect in DaVinci Resolve. Without going to the Fusion page, we can simply use it in the Edit page and add tracking labels and titles to moving objects in just a few clicks. There are different ways in DaVinci Resolve to track moving objects in a footage. If interested, you can also check some of my other videos, the links are included in the description below. Here is a clip of bikers riding on a highway, it's very simple to track an object in the Fusion page. Select the media in node, press shift space to open the tool selection window, find and add a tracker node to the node tree. We can also right click the media in node, choose insert tool from the context menu, and select the tracker from the submenus. Once the tracker node is added and is still selected, we will see a green box in the viewer. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Hover the mouse over the box, click and hold the little dot at the top left corner and move the solid green box to the object we want to track. We can also drag the border to change the size of the tracking box. The dashed line box defines the search area we can also adjust its size if necessary. Now the box turns to red because there's no tracking data yet. Go to the inspector panel. This little box shows the current selected object being tracked. Press the track forward button to start the tracking. Once the tracking is done, a confirmation dialog box is displayed showing the render time and speed. Click OK to close. In the inspector, switch to the Operation tab. Change the operation to a match move. Drag a text node from the toolbar to the editor and connect to the tracker node as the foreground. Enter the name of the biker, for example, Biker1. Play the clip, the text is now attached to the first biker. To change the text position, we can simply drag the center point in the viewer and move the text around. For example, showing the biker's name above the biker. This is great, we now have a tracking text title added to the clip. But sometimes we may want to add multiple labels or titles, for example like this. Of course we can achieve this by adding multiple trackers in the Fusion page, but that will get repetitive and tedious. Instead we will create a macro template and use it directly in the edit page. Delete the tracker, we don't want to keep the tracking data in our macro template. Also change the text to text tracker. Add a tracker node back to the tree. Go to the operation tab in the inspector and change the operation to match move. Connect the text node. Select both text and tracker nodes. Right click one of the selected nodes, choose macro, create macro. Enter a name for the macro. Select the parameters we want to include in the macro. The basic text controls. The minimum set of parameters that are used by the tracker. From the option menu, choose Save as Group. Enter a name for the macro. Save to the folder as shown on the screen. Close the macro editor and go back to the edit page. You may need to restart DaVinci Resolve to load the new template in the effects panel. If you like, you can also download and install the Essential Text Tracker template using the link in the description. To demo the usage of the macro, we will reuse the biker clip. Go to the Effects panel. From the Essential Effects folder, drag the Essential Text Tracker to Timeline and apply the effect of the biker clip. Open the Effects tab in the Inspector panel. These are the basic text and tracker control parameters. Enter the name of the first biker, let's say Ava. At the bottom left of the viewer, turn on the Fusion Overlay. 
Make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Go to the viewer, move the tracking box to the biker's mask, adjust the size if needed. Press the tracking forward button to start the tracking. Unlike in the fusion page, nothing happens in the viewer. Once the tracking is done, we see a confirmation message with the tracking result. That's it, with just three clicks, we have added a tracking title that matches the movement of the biker. If we want to reposition the title, we can use the center point control in the viewer to move the text around, for example above the biker. Next, let's track the second biker. Add another text tracker effect to the clip. Change the name to Ben. Set the tracking object, this time we use the headlight. Click the tracking forward button to start tracking. Reposition the title. We can also change the text size or color. Similarly, we can track the names for other bikers. Please note in some cases, you might notice that tracking selection in the viewer doesn't match the display in the inspector. One case is that the playhead is not at the beginning of the clip. Moving the playhead to the beginning will resolve it. The other case is that the clip is trimmed at the beginning. For example, if we trim this clip a bit from the start, even if the playhead is at the beginning, the tracking displays still don't match. In this case, we can convert this to a fusion clip or a compound clip first and then apply the text tracker effect. Now it's good. In the download package, I included two versions of the text tracker. The one I just used in the demo was made with a modifier tool for tracking. We can open this effect in the Fusion page to check how this is done. There are only two nodes in the macro, it looks very similar to the one with the tracker node. The tracking is done by modifying the center parameter of the merge node with the tracker position modifier. Another version is called Essential Text Tracker 2, which uses the tracker node with match move operation mode. Apply to the clip. When we move the tracking selection box, there is no magnified display in the viewer, so we'll have to rely on the display in the inspector to confirm our selection. But sometimes I did see the display randomly, which is very strange. When we press the tracking button, the viewer also changes to indicate the tracking is in progress, which is better. But I personally prefer to have the selection display in the viewer with the modifier version, it also seems a bit faster. You can always use either of them, they both accomplish the same tracking effect. Another macro I included in the download is a media tracker which allows us to track any media with any moving object. For example, I want to track the logo with the headlight of the first biker. In this case, we will create a fusion clip first. Drag and apply the essential media tracker to the fusion clip. Select the tracking object, I will use the headlight. Start tracking. OK, it's done. We now have the logo attached to the light and moved together. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.